Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Gears 2 by 616 Studios, where we'll be playing as an unwilling victim in part of Jigsaw's grand experiment, where we'll be going through traps and trying to escape. And here we are. Um, I seem to have a knife in my hand, and I'm chained... Oh, the TV's on. It's Jigsaw. Hello, Michael. I want to play a game. I don't want to play. I don't want to play your game. Sorry. Sorry, Jigsaw. All your life you hid from your problems. Crawling around corners, lamenting and drinking. That sounds pretty much like me, yeah. You abandoned your son and lost everything because of gambling and casinos. Still sounds like me, yeah. Today you will face your problems head on. Okay. In front of you is a device connected to a 12 gauge shotgun. Oh dear. In 40 seconds time, the device will pull the trigger on the shotgun, severing your head from your shoulders. I'd like to avoid that. The key to your freedom has been placed inside your small intestine. Of course it has. You will need it to free your hands and feet. Okie doke then. So Michael, are you going to face this problem head on? Or just mourn and wait for your death. Let the game begin. Mm. Okay. We gotta cut our belly open. Why is my hand an actual knife? There we go. Get those juicy bits out. Oh, do I have to do it? Alright, how many times do I have to do this? Am I just sticking my hand in now? I got 20 seconds. Dude, don't be so slow. Just get it over and done with. Here we go. Oh, there's some sausages on the floor now. That would be my guts, I guess. One more time! Oh, feeling a bit woozy. I don't think I'm gonna survive. I mean, as intros go, that was a pretty good one. Yeah. So we didn't have to follow Michael's journey at all, we just, um... It's got a head blown off. I'm not sure how they can get away with mimicking the Saw film, but um, hey, why not? Ah, so now we have, here we are. So is this, I'm assuming that we're a different person now, unless we're Michael's son or someone related to Michael. Here's home. What have we got here? Pain away. Oh, a few bottles of wine. A few meds. We have... I love you, Daddy. Oh, and kitty cats. Anything on the tube? No. Ah, more wine though. No. I'll have that. Thank you very much. No? Anything in the kitchen? Of note? Eat a sandwich? Get a pizza? No. Okay. So apart from the picture, there's not much I can interact with. And I'm feeling that my... Uh, now that my uh, son isn't in his room, and I've got quite a few bottles of wine, something's happened to my son. And the plinky plonky music is making me feel that everything will be okay. Maybe I'm... oh. I had something open. Oh, the door opened. In the bathroom. How did the door just open by itself? Okay. Was that Jigsaw? Have I just been kidnapped? I have, haven't I? And now, we play the game. <sighs> I 
Well, it seems that I have some kind of explosive device strapped to my ankle, and there's a saw. Uh, I don't want to pick that up, because I have a feeling, a sneaky suspicion of what we're going to be doing with this. If I've seen one saw film, I've seen them all. Yeah, yeah, you can see a previous resident of Jigsaw's machinations over on the right hand side there. Or should I say an appendage? Oh no, this is going to be, this is not going to start well for our character, is it? It's not going to start well at all. I mean, usually you leave this until the end of the, the game, where you have to hack off a limb. Hello, Josh. Hello, Josh. You don't know me, but I know you. Okay. Throughout your life, you have been just an observer. It's time to become the protagonist. Sometimes I like to watch. There's nothing wrong with that. Today you will have the option to change the direction of your life. Okay. Learn to value each moment. Punish those who brought hell to you. Today you have the chance for rebirth. Like a phoenix. But of course this won't be easy. You need sacrifices for things to really change. I'm, I'm ready to sacrifice whatever it may be in my path. Prove to me that you deserve a new chance. And I promise I will give you a new life. That sounds fair enough. In 60 seconds, oh, no. the explosives in this room will explode. Oh no. This is inevitable. Mm-hmm. To escape your explosive end, all you have to do is pull the lever and leave the room. The lever. But there's a catch. I don't see a lever. Your left around. hand is trapped and cannot be released. Mm hmm So what's it gonna be? Your life or your hand? Well, I think it's gonna be a very short game if I don't choose to separate my hand from my body. Let the game begin. Yeah. Do we have a countdown here then? There we go, come on. Rid and bear it, Josh. Oh, I see. A bit of QTE going on. Oh, dear. L. L. Okay. Um, M. Oh. Really? Jeez. Okay, we're up and out. We're gonna have to staunch this bleeding somehow. Alright, where's this lever? Oh, I see an arrow here. I've got 30 seconds. Come on, Josh. Squirting blood all over the place. We can do this. Pull the lever. There we go. Oh, green door. Green door means good. I'll take it. I've only got 20% health. That's not so good. Yeah, we'll get away from the explosives. We'll worry about our hand later. The countdown's still going, and this hasn't turned green yet. So I'm assuming... Um, I'm assuming we're safe from the explosion. I'll just squirt my blood all over. I'll just bleed out on the floor here until that happens. Yeah, we're fine. Um, would you, could I, can I can I come out? I'm not losing health, which is good, but I am squirting. I'm squirting all over. Ah, a med kit. That's what we like to see. Right, we've bandaged our hand up. Right, nice. Um, okay, so yeah, if I vaguely recall from Gears One, there are certain rooms that you can go. So we've got 100 points. Ah, uh, we're gonna go for the 20, aren't we? We have to go for 20. Because if you hit zero, that's it, it's game over as well. Okay. Don't like the look of that. Oh, we have a little Billy. Little Billy mascot. Congratulations, Josh. You survived. Now you will have the chance for redemption. Of course I will. The rules are simple. Uh-huh. Survive, and you will be rewarded. That sounds nice. You now have 100 points. Well... If your points reach zero, the device attached to your leg will explode. We don't want that. Let's play, Josh. Choose your path. Follow your heart. Follow my heart. And nothing bad is going to happen if I choose the wrong one, right? These all look very... I mean... It's a big room. Is something going to happen? Let's choose this one. It's not what my heart wants. Oh, I didn't look at the lights. Oh, I thought they were changing color. We seem to be okay. I always say it at the wrong time, don't I? So this is a, a one in four chance. Are we starting from the very beginning again? I hope not. Oh, that's good. That's good. Right, so don't go on the second. Let's go on the third one. Let's see if that's any different. This is just pure luck, though. Unless there's something that I haven't seen that indicates that this is the right way to go. Unless I just have to look forward and don't look down. 
I mean, if I could... Oh, I see. Can I speed up? Is that what was causing me to... No, I can't run. But so far, so good. So out of the one in four chance on my second attempt, I got it right. We have lost 20 points though, so Jigsaw wasn't completely right when he said we had 100 points. Is there so Oh, I guess that was if I took the 50 points off, I could just go ahead. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay, there's, there's more. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're messing around with the lights to try and discombobulate me. Well, sir, I am uncombobulatable, if that's even a word. I don't think it is. I've just made it up. It's these chains that are in my way, but it's okay. We're on the true path. If these are the games you've got in store for me, Jigsaw, then i got to say, I was expecting more. I mean, I have just cut off my left hand, but that's not my strong hand. The chains are sort of putting me off kilter a little bit. No, it's fine. Passed with flying colors. Hey, there we go. And the green light means the next room. Oh, hello. Oh. Who are you? Oh. This isn't going to be good for you, my friend. Because... I, I'm assuming 50 points is to save you, 10 points is to kill you. Who are you to me, though? That's what we'll find out. Oh, there's a TV over here. Uh, let's find out. Do we? Okay, the switch is on automatically. Hi, Jigsaw. Now you will need to make an important decision. Okay. This man is involved in your son's death. Ah. Let's just say he was just doing his job. Mm. Henry Marvin, a lawyer. Thanks to him. The man who killed your son gained his freedom. He is famous for defending the worst criminals. He is responsible for several murders on the loose. Kill him and only lose 10 points. Or let him live and lose 50 points. Is it worth risking your life for a man who refused to seek justice for the death of your son? Live or die, it's your decision, Josh. I mean, okay, the moral implication here is that he is just doing his job. If he's a defense attorney for criminals, that's that's what he's paid to do. And paid handsomely for it. And he's obviously very good because he's got a load of people off. So I'm quite inclined to save you because even though it was my son that has been killed, and we don't know how yet, we don't know why, my son could have been a scrote, right? He could have been a little shit biscuit. But it was my son. And 50 points, that's a lot. That's a lot. That only gives me 30 points to play around with. And what's to say that later on down the line, I don't have to use, you know, 30 points on something? That ends the game immediately, right? Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, you know what? You're obviously very good at your job. I'm going to let you live. 30 points. I feel sorry for the next person. Oh, you not let me out? There we go. Thank you. Bit of a delayed reaction there. Ah, laser beams. That was alright. That was fine. We have another room full of explosives. That's not so good. And another guy tied up. Friend. Hey, friend. How you doing? You good? Not so good. There's an arrow here. I'll take that. I'm gonna have to cut you up, I think. Friendship and trust are two things that cannot be bought. This man, Anton Myers, your best friend since you were children. But we both know what he really is. A freeloader. Ah, uh, you goddamn freeloading leech. He didn't even go to your son's funeral. You he bastard! Was always trying to get with your wife. Oh, you double He's bastard! A disgusting, envious person. Yeah. You always knew this, Josh, but you were always too cowardly to do anything. But now I've got an axi axe. Yeah. Now I now I know what I need to do. Now you will see his true face. Yeah. You will know who Anton really is. 
In 30 seconds, the explosives in this room will be triggered. Oh dear. There is only a small safe space in this room. Where is the safe space? Okay. This space will only be opened if one of you is uh. dead. Only one can leave here. Well, that doesn't give me much of a choice then. I'm sorry, my friend. Will you continue to be a coward, Josh? Or will you fight for your life? Live or die, make your choice. Well, sorry, friendo. Oh. Blemzo. Oh, I'm out of the safe space now. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, there wasn't really much choice there, was there? It was either he kills me or I kill him. And he was a freeloader. He was trying to get my wife and didn't even come to my son's funeral. I mean, that one was pretty easy. There wasn't really a moral dilemma with that one. I mean, I may have known him in a past life. We might have been best buds, drinking buddies, but um, yeah, he had to go. I'm sorry. Oh, more laser beams. Oh, we have a med kit as well. Nice. Back to 100%. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get through all three of these. Okay. I think that one last just sends my butthole. Okay, we're through. Good times. More platforming. Another med kit. I don't need it, but I'll take it. Okay, carefully. Oh. Oh, I thought that was game over there for a second. No, we were meant to come down here. I'm sure these are just little red cages from people. Red card. We need a red card. Aha. Let's wade through the uh, pool of blood and viscera. Oh, we have someone over here. Can we get up? Can I jump? I can't jump. Oh, there's a little path here. And a dead body. Oh, we're not going to have to rifle through here, are we? Are we going to have to rifle through here? Oh, there's a keypad. Oh, and a leather. The witch, crying tears of blood, stared at the flame of the black candle. The warrior looked at the witch, expecting the worst. In the middle of the forest walked the black wolf. Looking down, he was death itself. The nun prayed for hours. Looking at the sky, she asked God to keep away from us. Okay. Um, what do we have over here? Ah, so you're the... Okay. So this is the black... Oh, I see. Right, so you're looking down. Are you? The, you're the warrior, so you've got to be looking... Where are you? You're looking at the witch. Are you the wolf? I don't know. That that just looks like a black blob. Um, you must be the nun. You're looking skyward. So that means you're looking up? I don't know about this wolf. What was the what did the wolf thing say again? He was looking down on everyone, is that right? Let's just The witch crying tears of blood stared at the flame of the black candle. Yeah, she's looking down. The warrior looked at the witch, expecting the worst, yeah. In the middle of the forest walked the black wolf looking down he was deaf. Yeah, but I don't know if that's him looking down or not. Is that him looking down? And are these, these are numbers. I can't really read them though. Wow, I might have to, can I turn the brightness up a little bit? No, it doesn't, oh, here we go. I've just turned the film grain filter off, but it doesn't really give us I know these are numbers here. Is that a one? 
What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Eight? Let me just turn you around. No, that's not going to help. I can't see this. Five? I'm not sure. Four? I have no idea what that is. It looks like that looks like a one to me. I'm gonna go with eight. One, eight, five, six? I don't know. Or is it meant to be the number at the top? I can't read any of it. That's a backwards four. But I don't know what this is. That's definitely looks like a one. Eight. One, eight. Five, six. One, eight, five, six. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. No, it obviously wasn't 1856. Hey, that was a bit of trial and error. That was a bit of trial and error because I couldn't really see, it's so dark, I couldn't really see the numbers. So I, I just happily plopped on through. There was a few shotgun tries with that one, but it was 4842 in the end. Okay, uh, that gives me the red key card that I put over here. which lowers the ladder. I don't like the looks of this room. I'm going to stay away from the chains. Don't want to touch the chains. I can hear someone struggling to breathe. Oh, someone's having a party. Hmm. A uh, flashlight. I could have used you earlier, to be honest with you. I am giving you the key to life. A chance for revenge. Oh. Who are you? The man before you is Tomic Hendrick. He was the judge in your son's murder case. Uh-huh. A bitter man who never fulfilled his true role. He accepted bribes and acquitted several criminals convicted of rape. Oh, dear. Now you have the power to judge him, but I know that in reality, you want to see him die. In 30 seconds, that saw will rip him in half. Oh dear. If you want, you can save him. Just enter a four-digit password on the panel in front of you. Or you can wait and enjoy justice being served. Let the game begin. Alright. Oh, I see. Right, so we got the M. Where's that? Seven. Spiral. Four. Upside down triangle thing. Five. And then, uh, is that that? Hey. Do we let him live? Oops. I mean, technically, I ended the, the thing, I just forgot to actually... Well, he was a judge that accepted bribes. And this is all for my son. This is revenge for my son. More planks. This is fine. I don't feel too bad about that one. Because, you know, if he's a judge accepting bribes, he shouldn't be a judge. And he let convicted rapists get out. And he was the judge of my son's case, and you know what? I put the code in. I put the code in, it was on time. Uh, we got 100% health, we're good.
What do we have here? Do not enter. Oh, that looks like a tripwire right there. Am I going to blow up as soon as this... I know this is probably going to blow up, but I just want to try it. Yeah, I knew it. I just wanted to try. I mean, the sign said don't enter. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we seem to have people behind the glass and a large stabby stabby knife thing with a button. So, hmm, okay. Hell? Heaven. Which one do we get to? I'm proud of you. You're proving that you deserve a second chance. But we still need to make some adjustments, fit the missing pieces, and remove the remaining. The three people in the room were part of the jury and were present at the trial of your son's murder. The game will start as soon as you pull the lever. You can save them, but you will suffer a lot of pain. When the light turns red, you will have ten seconds to decide before a shotgun removes the person's head. If you decide to save someone, just press the button. A knife will pass through your hand and the shotgun will be pointed upwards. If you save at least two people, your path to heaven will be guaranteed. Or you can let three die and walk the path to hell. Life or death, you decide. Well, once again, they're just the jury, right? He's not saying, Jigsaw's not saying that they were bribed in any way. They're just saying they made some poor decisions, perhaps. But like the first guy, like the defense lawyer, I let him go because he was just doing his job. He wasn't getting bribed. The judge, I'm not so, I don't care about so much because he was taking bribes. And these are just harmless people that just, all right, we'll try and save two. It depends on how much health gets taken away. Around the world and home again. That's the sailor's way. So yeah, we'll, we'll try and save you. All right, I can try and save too. Yeah? I don't think I'm gonna have enough health to save all three. We'll see. Is it random? Was he the same guy? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to save all three. I'm going to die before then. At least I was able to save two. You know? I'm sorry, fella. There's there's nothing I can really do about this. Um, you you lucked out as the guy who gets his head blown off, I guess. Sorry. Jigsaw did say though, if I save two, that'll guarantee me a path to heaven. But knowing as this kind of like is a saw game, or a saw kind of ripoff game, I don't think it's going to be that easy. Yeah. I mean, Saw 10 wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great. I kind of lost interest after the second game. But we have been granted access to heaven. That's all we need in life, right? Wow, this is dark. We're just following this path. Okay. Here we go. Going down the hallway. I mean, it's not going to bring my son back. I mean, we still don't really know what's happened. And I'm assuming that the last test will be the guy... Unless we've killed our son, that would be bad. Um, I just seem to be in a room of carcasses. Cadavers. Corpses. Oh. Once again, very, very hard to see. Okay, ah, and there's a health kit. Just what the doctor ordered. Thank you very much. Um... Okay. Where am I, am I meant to go? Am I meant to go through here? 
Where are we going here? Oh, okay. I see. Oh, this looks like a boss fight room. This looks like a boss fight room. If ever I've seen one. Okay. We've got a panel here. We've got numbers. We have lots of numbers. Oh, I, I know. Something's going to happen. The wall's going to... The ceiling's going to come down on us. I'm not playing you yet. I should... What I really should do is make a note of all of these numbers and then come back because I guarantee... Right, we'll just go with it. What is life, Josh? What is the point of living? We're always running after something to be happy. But having a life is already a reason to be happy. Now you will need to be fast to survive. Oh, man. Just like you live your life, always running. In 60 seconds, a laser will reach you. It is harmless to almost everything except human skin. Well, seeing as I'm made up of human skin, well, that doesn't sound too good. You just need to enter the correct combination to right. open the door. Okay. But what is the correct number? Yeah. Come on, Josh. Run. Oh, it's laser beams. All right, 4291. No. Four, two, nine, one. No. Two, two, seven, eight. Oh. Ooh. Lots of Billy dolls. Second. Whoa. Get out of here. Get out of here, you damn. 30 points. Hard. 80 points. Easy? Well, I'm dead either way. Oh. Oh, I should never have... I should never have saved the defense lawyer. 30 points. Hard. Come on. 80 points. Easy. Well, that means I just die instantly. I'm going to explode. I'm going to have to do all this again. There's no way I can do this, right? Because I saved the, the defense lawyer. That's... Come on, that's pretty harsh. There's no way... Yeah... Maybe I get through quick enough. No, I'm going to have to redo it all over again. Yeah, so I used 50 points to just cut through the first trap. Um, and if I just kill him now with the 10 points, that gives me 40 points. So I'm hoping that door is the last time when points are used. Sorry, pal. Wasn't up to me. Sorry. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, killed the defense lawyer guy. Uh, inadvertently saved the judge and saved two of the jurors. Um, so now I have 40 points. I could go into the hard section, which I'm not looking forward to now, because I've only got 10 points, and I really hope that... Oh, I see. I see. We have a lot of billies... Can I crouch? I can't crouch. We have a lot of billies primed with explosives, so I can't touch any of these guys. Is that right? Is that what we're saying? Okay. All right. This is okay. This isn't too bad so far. So far. Just get around you. Thank you very much. We won't touch you. We'd stay away from you. Oh, I didn't see you there. Okay, well, try and get away from you. Try and get away from you. Uh, it's starting to move now. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. We're golden. Look at this. Oof. 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 That's okay. That's okay. All right. Whoa! God damn, Billy. God damn you, Billy. All right. Look at this. Agile like a cat. Reflexes like a mongoose. Uh, it's a sneaky suspicion that was going to happen. Nope. And I just fall through the thing anyway. I didn't need to explode. I just fell through the cracks. 
I did see it was saved, yeah, just before then, so this should be okay. You're going to pop up. How far back do you go? Okay, you don't go that far back. All right, let's see where you are. Okay, okay. Looking good. Oh, when it comes out of that slow mo motion mode, oh, it tells you, not good. Right. Haha. What's next, Jigsaw? What's next? You're really outdoing yourself, Josh. You proved to me that you deserve a second chance. Thanks, Jigsaw. Now, as I promised, you will be freed. Your reward is just ahead. You become the protagonist of your own life. A man who fought to survive and punish those who harmed him. Go ahead, Josh. Free yourself. It's never that simple though, is it? Especially in these Saw films and Saw games, it's never that easy. I hear someone screaming. Someone is screaming. Can I pick up this? I would have really loved that flashlight earlier on. Oh, I see. Congratulations, Josh. You survived my game, and your reward is here. The man in front of you is Wilson Parker, a 49-year-old man. You must know him well. He ran over and killed your son while he was drunk and drugged. He bribed the judge and jury. He laughed at you in court. He never cared for what he did. Now you will be the judge, and we know very well that he is guilty and needs to pay. This is your last game, Josh. Your choice to break free and start a new life. Pull the lever and get justice. Or just stand there and rot in this room. Revenge and justice. It's the same thing. Live or die, Josh. The choice is yours. I mean, I don't think there... You know, from what he's saying, there, there is a difference between revenge and justice. But, um, you know... This guy, I mean, how what? I, I, I either leave the game here now and don't kill this guy. He was drunk. He killed my son. He bribed the judge. And now it just appears that there are other ones as well, the jury as well. If I'd have known that, then I wouldn't have saved them. And I could have spared my hand some pain. But here we go. Sorry, fella. Chainsaw up the bum? Is that what we're saying? Oh no, we're just going to pull his limbs apart. Joss just looks on. So there you go, guys. That was Gears 2, a very Saw-inspired game by 616 Studios. And we know now that any game from 616 Studios is either going to be gratuitous violence, gore, poop, or puke. Um, I quite enjoyed that. I did not enjoy the fact that by saving the defense lawyer at the very beginning, um, I wouldn't have enough points to progress further into the game. I think that's that needs to be tweaked slightly. I think you should have the choice to do it. In this one, you're basically given the choice of saving the judge um, and saving two of the of the uh, jurors. You don't really. I don't think you can get through the game if you decide to save the because you spend 50 points on saving him. Then you spend uh, 20 points, yeah, getting through the door at the very beginning. So there's no way to progress any further than that. And it kind of forces you to replay the game, which 
I'm not a particular fan of, uh, but I did like the games that were on show here. I liked um, the fact that, you know, little puzzle elements, the QTEs. Um, yeah, it was, um, it, was, uh, it was fairly violent and torture porny, but that's what you expect from a Saw type of game or a Saw inspired game, shall we say. This is Gears, not Saw, this is Gears. And I'm sure the man that was talking to us wasn't Jigsaw. And the Billy Dolls, though they seemingly looked like Billy Dolls, weren't Billy Dolls. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub because it means the world to me. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.